All right. Freaking awesome. Here at my friend's old little homestead. They just moved out a couple weeks ago. It's still in my friend's possession, and so we uh, came by. Uh, came by to pick up uh, our new Go Sun tube because Go Sun accidentally mailed it to this place instead of uh, my other friends who I uh, I put the address to um, because this was the farm that I had my uh, little Sun Kettle Go Sun Sun Kettle um, mailed to. So I guess they I don't know they mailed it to this place, and we came by to pick it up and. Our uh, friends, uh, they said that I could stay here for the night since it hasn't uh, transferred ownership yet. And I just got done, I just got done picking up a bunch of uh, potatoes. This was the garden that that I planted for them um, like six months ago, and. I didn't have a shovel, but I had this little broken, little broken uh, for, garden fork thing. So I wasn't able to get the deep potatoes, but um, I was just able to get like the first six inches. And there's a lot of potatoes here. This is all I can haul away anyway. This is like going to be heavy. This is like, shoot, man, this is going to be awesome. And I collected, uh, there, there wasn't many uh, tomatoes because... I don't know. They uh, most of them like are kind of bruised or starting to rot on the bottom side. There's a lot of orange ones though left. Maybe I could. I don't really have the capacity to be like holding on to stuff until it ripens. So I just grabbed the, the red ones that I can eat. But yeah, lots of stuff to graze for the sheep tonight. There's a cherry plum tree in the back that I just shook the hell out of and knocked like thousands of cherry plums down. This is a cherry plum too, I shook that one. So sheep are fat on cherry plums right now. They're there here in an hour, they're gonna start belching up cherry plum cud and uh, it smells really interesting. <laughs> Out of all the things that they belch up and chew uh, a second time, the cherry plums smell the weirdest by far. JC. Hi. Hey, Mama. I love you. Good girl. What a good sheep. Rosie. Hi. No, I didn't want you to get up. I just wanted your attention. <laughs> You're such a good puppy dog. I love you. You ready to milk? It's about six o'clock. Time to milk. Watch this. Happy. Yes, you know your name. <laughs> happy, happy, happy. You guys are so smart. You guys are like little puppy dogs. I love you. You're the best. Oh, I love you. Yes. You ready to milk, Mama? You ready to milk? I still got milk from the last milking from 2 o'clock. Oh my god, I got a new tube. Yeah. This is so awesome. I miss this thing so much. Honestly, I don't want to live without another one. I can never live without a ghost son now. I, I just, they're so ridiculously easy to cook with. Literally, it's, the, it's easier than, than a stove, a regular stove, electric stove. It's easier than that other parabolic. It's definitely easier than, than uh, feeding a fire and having to play with its temperature. It's just so consistent. Oh my god. I got my potatoes and some tomatoes that I planted in my friend's uh, at my friend's homestead that I just collected. And these are the potatoes too. And I got um, a wild a wild onion and garlic seed fermented. I fermented them in a, in a uh, one cup uh, jar uh, for like the last week uh, in my sheep's way in my sheep's milk way and then I got obviously a bunch of freaking herbs here I got rosemary from my friend's garden I got thyme yeah and I have 
the mustard seeds and I think that's it. I didn't I didn't use the fennel this time. I love it. So awesome. I don't have any greens because all the amaranth here is going to seed. And the leaves are just so tiny and and tough. Most of them are like straight up wilted. But that's why I put a bunch of herbs in here. Gotta have some kind of plants in your like greens in your daily diet. Uh, green chlorophyll, anything with chlorophyll. You need it in your daily diet to stay healthy. At least I do. Oh my god, I'm so grateful for this solar oven again. It's so easy to deploy, it's so easy to pack up, it's so easy to cook. You just shove it in, point it towards the sun, and you let it sit there for a half an hour at the most for potatoes. It's so efficient. You don't even need to track it with the sun because it's a it's a solar uh, accumulator, I think is what um, Alex Key, the inventor of it. Um, I think that's how you refer to it. Yeah. Um, so... Once it starts getting building up heat, it doesn't need to be tracked by the sun. You don't need to, to point it directly at the sun. But the parabolic, you need to turn it towards the sun, and even then, it's like it's too hot, and you got to babysit it, keep it stuff from burning. Stuff never burns in this. It's really hard to. I cook these potatoes in my sheep's way from making kefir, and when you make the potatoes, uh, when you boil the potatoes in the sheep's uh, way. Uh, the leftover um, milk cream, milk solids uh, that are in the way uh, end up coagulating. It creates ricotta in the solar oven. While you're making the potatoes, it coagulates the, uh, the leftover milk solids into ricotta. And uh, so when I pull this uh, tray out um, and see that the potatoes are done, there's ricotta all over it. So um, I got some cheese in this too, I forgot. I'll go. shoe got a flat tire so I've been having to put duct tape underneath it clean it out all the foxtails right now the dried foxtails before I put another piece of duct tape in there I wish I could run across a freaking an old doormat and make the sandals like I have been making for the doormat sandals that I've been making for years. Um, I haven't seen a doormat in a long time. I haven't also haven't been frequenting um, the backside of the Chevron, which I found a number of old mats over the years. Let me throw out. We haven't been grazing over there since it burned down back there, and there isn't as many plants growing over there now. There is now, we just went there the other day. But I didn't see the mats out and didn't ask them. If anybody knows of anybody that has an old, old doormat I could have, they want to send me or it's around here that I could pick up, that'd be awesome because these shoes are only going to last a couple more weeks probably. And they're not cut out for this type of living. These are just loafing shoes. Oh, those foxtails. Fucking ridiculous. Because they have, um, their sole is very exterior to the shoe. It like sticks out more than, like when my foot is in it, and this sole is sticking like way out, like a quarter of an inch. My sheep step on it. And that's what ripped the sole of the other one. And this one's starting to get ripped up too. I love those doormat sandals. I miss them. They're so much more breathable. These are the most breathable shoes I've had in fucking years, like 10 years. There's only been one pair that's been more breathable than this. I got it at the Freebox. They were the New Balance, like, Minimus. 
They were made for barefoot uh, walking, which is another reason I really don't like these shoes. Is uh, they're not as breathable and they're not as um, I'm not as able to walk barefoot fashion, like uh, walking on my on my um, forefoot um, rather than heel to toe. Um, I can't really walk on the forefoot because uh, it's all loose back here and it just it's just not as efficient of a fit for walking like that. New Balance Minimus was the best shoe I've ever had in my whole life. I can't believe they discontinued it. Got it at a free box and it lasted me like six months. Oh man, I got a thorn in my freaking thumbnail. It lasted me like six months and after it was done, that was the first shoe in like freaking I don't know, God, how long, 15 years that I that I actually um I actually went and tried to buy fucking foxtail tip of a foxtail. Jammed in my fucking finger now. Alright. I just had to walk back into my friend's uncut um, freaking foxtail grass to collect some more wild wild onion and garlic seeds so good this is like a month supply right here and they're so strong flavored the wild versions of all of our cult cultivated crops are always a lot more flavorful a lot healthier too they got um, star thistle everywhere also so that's why I wore my shoe. I definitely don't like start this one poking into my skin. Foxtails don't poke into my foot. But start this will do. Alright, good to go. Alright, sheep has been patient. Bring my room some water. And then we'll get out of here.